हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हर्षव अली खान लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव कंप्लीटेड यूनिट नंबर थ्री दैट इज सप्लाई एनालिसिस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द यूनिट नंबर फोर दैट इज प्रोडक्शन एनालिसिस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म प्रोडक्शन वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन वॉट इज प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन and what are the differences between short run production function and long run production function so these are the topics i am going to cover up in this video so watch the video till the end so already three units i have completed if you have not watched i suggest you go to the playlist of my channel select the subject business economics select all the required videos be perfect get a good command on this uh, subject of business economics so take the screenshot of the points on production analysis then i'll explain all the points in detail come on first of all i'm going to explain you about the meaning of the term production production is that organized activity in a business organization which transforms the input or resources into output that is finished goods which are consumed by the users by the consumers to satisfy their wants so people or consumers wants goods and services to satisfy their wants so these goods and services will be produced by producers so production is that activity organized activity which is concerned with transforming or changing the inputs into outputs so we have so many resources by using those resources the producers will make the goods produce the goods and supply the goods to the consumer so that they can satisfy their wants so that is the definition meaning of the term uh, production now production is a process of simply converting the input into output and the analysis of demand is mainly used for planning production process actually first of all the producer has to analyze the demand that's why in unit 2 we have discussed about demand analysis what is demand what is law of demand what are the determinants of demand what is elasticity of demand all these things we have studied so before making the production the producer has to analyze the demand on the basis of analysis analysis analyzing the demand they have to decide about the supply and according to the uh, i mean supply activity they have to make the production process so remember the first thing is demand analysis then come supply analysis then come production analysis production depends on supply supply depends on demand so here the analysis of demand is mainly used for planning the production processes and determining the level of production the so production depends on supply just now i told now for equilibrium equilibrium means a condition where total demand and total supply both are equal that means the producer should supply that much quantity which is demanded in the market the supply should neither be less nor should it should be more there should be equilibrium so for equilibrium supply should be equal to demand production is an aspect of supply side production depends on supply so in simple words we can say input then processing then it will become output so many resources are there the producer has to convert the resources into finished goods by processing by the activity of processing that processing activity is called production the production theory stresses the efficient use of inputs for producing the desired output ultimately what is the objective of production the production the efficient utilization of all the resources so that we can be able to attain the desired level of output 
So in order to produce a specified quantity of goods efficiently, we have to utilize all the resources. So production is nothing but efficient and effective utilization of all the resources in order to produce a desired level of output. That is the meaning of the term production. Now the second aspect in this video, I'm going to explain you about the factors of production. Actually, innumerable factors are there. So many resources are used, but we select which are the select few resources which are very, very important in every production. So factors are broadly classified into four categories. That is land, labor, capital and organization. So broadly we have taken only four, but don't think that only four resources are used, only four factors of production are there, no many factors, but the important factors we can categorize into these four. Now land, land is regarded as a natural resource which is freely available in the nature. So land is the first resource which is used in production, without land we cannot make any production in the air, in the space, in vacuum. We cannot make production. Land is the first resource we require. And land is a natural resource. Nobody can make land. Land is freely available in the nature. But we have to pay the rent for the land. So land is the first resource or factor of production. Second comes labor. Labor refers to the physical and mental efforts of human being physical and mental efforts of human being which are applied in production process so that the workers can be able to get some income. So in order to earn some income, physical and mental efforts are applied by human being in production process. That is called labor. Third comes capital. Capital actually means the savings of the individual which are used in production process in order to gain some profit. So people will earn the income. From that income they will make the savings and that savings are applied in production with the objective of earning profit that is called capital. Simply the money resources which are used in production process is called capital. Next comes organization or enterprise. Organization is also called a human factor because automatically all the resources will not be converted into finished goods. There should be some human factor called management organization. The organization will combine all the other resources like land, labor, capital, material, technology. All these things will be combined by the management. That management is called organization. Ultimately, the success of production depends on management. How effectively management can be able to make use of all the resources in order to produce the finished goods. So the management, the I mean, businessman is taking this task of organization in order to earn the profit. They are, they are undertaking the risk. That means there is no surety that definitely they will get the profit. They may incur loss also. So the main function of an organization is to manage and control the activities of production. So the main function of this organization is to effectively control and manage the production activities. So I have explained you about the factors of production that is land, labor, capital and organization. The next topic in this video is regarding production function. Production function means the technical relationship. It's a function which shows the technical relationship between input and output. What is the technical relationship between inputs and output? A production function is a tool used to explain the input output relationship. We have the input in the form of factors of production. We are using all the inputs, factors of production in order to produce the output. So this production function will explain the relationship between input and output. So 
it is it describes a technical relationship between input and output in physical terms that means how many uh, units of inputs we are using in order to produce how many units of output now the inputs are also known as factors of production already we have discussed the factors of production the factors of production are the inputs and for any production process the factors determine the output that means there is direct relationship between input and output higher the inputs more will be the output lower the inputs less will be the output so we can say there is a direct relationship between input and output land labor capital management and technology are the major determinants of any output many factors are there but the most important are land labor capital organization technology etc the dependent variable output q is a positive function of independent variable now output is a dependent variable it depends on the inputs which are independent variable that means the producer has to decide how much land how much labor how much capital how much technology we have to use so all these factors are independent variable and by combining all these independent variable the dependent variable that is output so there is a direct relationship between output and inputs this can be de uh, demonstrated by an equation as follows the relationship between quantity of output and inputs so in a mathematical functional relationship we can make like this q is equal to function of ld l c m t now what do you mean by q q means output the output is equal to function of ld land applied employed in production l stands for labor labor employed in production c stands for capital employed in production then m stands for management or organization then t stands for technology remember technology is also nowadays becoming one of the main factor of production that will determine the production now an increase in any of these factors of production will lead to an increase in production because there is a direct relationship so as we increase the input the output will also increase that is about production function now short run and long run production functions when we make this production function that means production output is dependent on factors of production we can divide the factors of production into variable and fixed some factors of production are variable and some factors of production are fixed accordingly we can make short run production function and long run production function so what are the differences very frequently in examination they may ask you what are the differences between short run and long run so first of all meaning the functional relationship of the maximum quantity of goods or services that can be produced by a set of input assuming that some of the inputs remain unchanged so what do you mean by short run production function it means the functional relationship where in order to increase the output we can change not all factors but some factors of production will remain unchanged that means some fixed factors of production are there that cannot be changed only variable factors of production can be changed some factors will remain unchanged that is short term long run the production the functional relationship of maximizing quantity of goods or services that can be produced by varying all inputs in production that means the business can be able to change all the factors of production there are no fixed factors of production every factor will be a variable factor in long run but in short run some are variable some are fixed now short run production function can be expressed as quantity of output is equal to function of lcm l stands for labor c stands for capital and m stands for material that means during the short run period the output depends on labor capital and material only these three will determine the output we cannot change the fixed factors here long run production function can be expressed as function of ld lcm t small t q stands for output quantity ld stands for land used in production l stands for labor c stands for capital 
M stands for material, capital T stands for technology and small t stands for time period of production. That means in the long run, the output depends on all the factors, every factor, whether it is variable or fixed. But during the short period, only variable factor, labor, capital and material. That's it. Next, in short run, labor, material, capital are the only variable inputs which can be used in production. Only labor, capital and material, only these three things will determine the output. Whereas in the long run, all the inputs, both fixed and variable, are used in the production process. Next one, in the short run, organizations usually, they have very less time to convert the input into output. Whereas in the long run function, uh, production function, organization have enough time, more time to convert the input into output. Last one is in short run organizations need to go for, need to go for the detailed planning to achieve its goal. So need not go for detailed planning in the short run need not go for detailed and very lengthy planning. Short run planning is required for short run production function. Whereas in the case of long run production function, all activities can be well planned in order to achieve its organizational goals. So during the long run production function, a detailed planning can be made for all the factors. Whereas in the short run, we cannot make the detailed planning of all the factors, only few factors we can change. So these are the differences between short run production function and long run production function. So in this video, I have explained you about <clears throat> the production, the factors of production, the production function and the differences between short run and long run production function. Inshallah, we'll continue our discussion on this production analysis in the next video.